integrated oncology, palliative and supportive care should be a part of all healthcare system independent upon where you are. We know that it's cost effective. We know that it improves patient outcomes and we know that it might also improve patient survival. We need to address other issues than only the, the cancer, but also the patient's needs and symptoms alongside with that. It's very important to, to do that early on. Outcome for the patient, that is more than survival. This integrated model is the only way we can achieve the goals, both for the patient perspective and also for the oncological uh, uh, endpoints. Oslo University Hospital is a comprehensive cancer center. We were also recently approved as an ESMO designated center of integrated oncology and palliative care. The palliative and supportive care service here in Oslo started more than 20 years ago. And already at that time, it was organized as an integrated part of the Department of Oncology. Palliative and supportive care focus on the patient's quality of life and also the quality of life of his or her family and is applicable during the whole disease trajectory. It's applicable for patients treated with curative intention and also for patients receiving life prolonging therapy. Patients are expecting to be involved in the decision making process, integrating the tumor approach, how to treat the cancer and the patient-centered approach, how to care for the patient, is getting more and more important. Cancer care has a sort of standardized and systematic approach towards the tumor. Well, the approach towards the patient is much more individually oriented. We have a lot to gain by improving our approach towards the patients and doing that in a systematic way throughout the whole cancer tra trajectory. The palliative care physician must have a dualistic approach they must have knowledge about the disease, the cancer, the tumor, but they must be able to communicate with the patients, to catch the patient's perspectives. That's the most important part of working as a palliative care physician. Integrated oncology and palliative care is a complex intervention. Therefore, uh, we have to make a series of care pathways. The care pathways need to be custom made in a way for uh, each individual patient group. The most important thing for me is to spend time with my family. I think you know, quality of life is, is the most important thing to focus on. One of the challenges we're facing in integration of palliative and supportive care is that it's usually or quite often introduced too late with a palliative and supportive care pathway. This happens quite early on. It's very important now that we introduce another patient care pathway uh, alongside the oncological one. Systematic symptom assessment uh, is needed. We know, for example, that pain is underreported. If we don't ask the patients systematically, they will be suffering from pain for days, weeks, and maybe months. Are there any of these symptoms that you would like us to prioritize today? Well, I think for me, the pain and the lack of appetite. Systematic symptom assessment is equally uh, important as getting the lab results. It's for identifying symptoms and treating the symptoms promptly, but it is also uh, a tool uh, to promote patient-centeredness throughout the whole cancer disease trajectory. The evidence base within palliative and supportive care is weak. We need research in order to improve the clinics directly. We also need to better understand the pathophysiology uh, of important symptoms and signs. We are specifically in our group working within the area of pain and cachexia. From a basic research perspective, we, we try and model aspects of cancer cachexia found in patients in animal model systems. For instance, how the organism loses its body mass, for instance, muscle or adipose tissue, or how it loses energy or, or changes in physiological parameters over time. We use uh, fruit flies as an animal model system to understand the disease. By understanding how the tumor affects the organism and somatic organs, we will try and, and, and stop this process from occurring, for instance, by, by, by limiting the cachectic factors or limiting the effects on the somatic organs. 
two years ago, uh, we were asked uh, to take the lead uh, to uh, write the Lancet Oncology Commission on Oncology and Palliative Care. We are focused on several areas. We are proposing models on how the healthcare systems can improve to organize integrated oncology and palliative supportive care. We are giving recommendations on how we can collaborate internationally in conducting better quality research. And we are also identified several barriers within the education programs. So we are proposing how to improve the education programs nationally and internationally. We have to uh, integrate oncology care and supportive uh, palliative care for the future. We need to have a research-based platform to get into the discussion with the policy makers. Better integration and coordination will improve the utilization of healthcare resources. At the same time, it will improve the quality of care. Patients want to live as long and as good as possible. And that is the key goal of integrated oncology and palliative care.